everyone my name is Alice and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video we're going to check out the daily duties feature of the royalty mod. So I have used the royalty mod before but I haven't used this specific feature yet so I'm super excited to try it out. This is my queen, Queen Eleanor of Sims Stanstasia which is my kingdom. So the royalty mod is by Lazy Neve so I will link it in the description of the video for you guys if you wish to download it. I really love the royalty mod and it keeps getting so many cool updates at the moment it's crazy. I have one other video on the royalty mod but that one is on the ancient Greece update of it so I will link that video in the description of the video as well if you guys wanted to watch that but that's on the ancient Greece update to the mod specifically. So for the royalty mod just to we're just going to be looking at the daily duties specifically today but for the royalty mod you need to give your sim the monarch trait so that's what Eleanor is. I have already because I play with this mod anyway I have already given them all of like the royal partner traits and the air and crown royal traits and everything so because i do have this in my game normally but yeah let me find out Lana. there she is the daily duties is a new feature of the royalty mod so in order to get this to work what you need to do in the venue info or lot description you need to go into lot challenges and then we've got the royal residence challenge uh sorry lot type and then in the day the lot challenge sorry you do the daily duties one so this is daily royal duties so step into the shoes of a monarch with the daily duties lot trait balance the art of ruling with a variety of royal responses from holding court to diplomatic meetings to overseeing cultural events and managing crises each day is a new adventure in leadership your decisions shape the kingdom blending the personal and political in a true test of monarchy embrace the challenge and lead your realm to prosperity so this sounds amazing this is exactly what i need and i think because i have a royal series on my youtube channel and my instagram as well so i do think that this like part of the mod is really going to help in terms of storytelling because we have a big storyline coming up so i'm very excited to try it then so what i'm gonna do is i know there's certain like room types you can give and i know it's in build and buy mode and just so you guys know anything by lazy knee for the royalty mod is you just in the type and you do bracket ln for lazy knee and then we should get everything yeah so these are the items that come with this new update so you have a id private quarters you have a room id stateroom and a room id throne room so this sounds so cool this is one of my palaces i do have a palace tour on it if you were interested so i'm going to set this one as the stateroom just because i use this one a lot anyway so this is probably like the main one to be fair so i'll just place that in and you can cover it with a rug but i'm just going to leave it obvious for now just so i know it's there um okay then we'll do the throne room so my throne room is a little different so my throne room is like in a banquet hall so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do put it there and then i think you can claim a throne so i think just for the sake of the video i'm gonna put the queen's throne like maybe let's put eleanor and william's thrones there just in case we need to use them for whatever reason and then i'll move these back a little bit so i know there's a lot of different types of daily duties that you can do so i assume that there's one that you need to be in the throne room for so i just want to make sure everything is accessible for the gameplay and then we've got private quarters so that can be the queen's bedroom so this is on this floor so i'll pop that in here but also what's cool is they come in different colors so if you wanted to put it on your carpet you can and it like disguises in or like you know which is really cool so it's currently yeah 6 p.m so i think it's a 8 or 9 a.m the next day when you get the you get a pop-up asking you if you want to do the daily duties for today so i'm gonna skip to then and then we'll see what we get also guys very quickly whilst i'm waiting i have eleanor and her husband the prince consort flirting currently but if you guys wanted to know how to give your sims like the other titles with the royalty mod you go you click on the other sim so i click on william so you go into titles and then you have all these sort of options so he is the regent currently because our heir to the throne is like eight i think she's eight so she's not old enough <laughs> so yeah but he, she's already given him the royal partner title so i can't show these properly but you can banish from the royal family announce his heir recognize his crown royal dungeon guard i haven't tried that sounds fun though um i'm trying to think what else i can show you with the royalty mod you've got yeah gardening nannies i think we could do with a nanny we have so many Ooh, we have maids as well yeah we have so many um 
kids or you could bestow a knighthood i haven't tried that yet i'm not gonna do it with william but i'll probably try do it with like another random sim just so we can see how that looks at some point and i did also forget to mention i need to play this so that they actually skip the time so this is the communications book so you need to get that from build and buy as well and then this is the correspondences book so you need this specifically for the daily duties because one of the daily duties is correspondences so as you can see you've got lots of options this is really cool all of this like diplomacy you can send a letter you can request the funds bestow gifts you can write a journal entry you can send correspondence to a member of royalty so all these people are royalty except these two random people i don't know why they are somehow royal because i did not give them a royal title um but you can also like where is it you can if i was to do that i could send it to like the king or emperor of my other two kingdoms which is cool like they would just correspond um just about things which sounds fun i'm trying not to skip time with ui cheats because when i do that my game pretty much just like <laughs> it's oh no if you guys don't know he's a very controversial character in my story um king philip her dad if you're interested in the lore behind all this you can watch my series i do have a video where i explain everything from chapter one and chapter two so far that's easier but yeah i don't like using ui cheats to skip the time just because my game just completely <laughs> i think it's because like you suddenly get all the pop-ups and everything that you didn't get during that time and then like your sims then need to like all the way down oh my god they're so cute they're still going for ages. yeah you can like flirtation out like that so yeah okay but we're nearly there we'll get there in a minute they have so many kids as well <laughs> um yeah i'm pretty sure you don't get oh oh actually i can show you i don't know why oscar doesn't have a royal title let's give one to oscar just so we can i can show you how it's given he recently aged up so that might be why recognizes crown royal she's gonna give her son a title now i mean he already had one but we'll just add like yeah anyway <laughs> um be quicker elena oh no that's william's dad there are every basically all the parents are dead <laughs> <laughs> that is cool i think it will work better for an adult so also something cute with like the kids is leonore she can oh no everyone's fading away she can do i just can't wait to be the monarch because she's the heir so as you can see she's got like this special little trait uh so she can be like i just can't wait to be an heir to be the monarch sorry i will admit though my game does lag a bit in this palace just because it's so big <laughs> so do bear with me yeah she's saying that like, i just can't wait to be the monarch and then you get a little fig royally excited i just can't wait to be ki monarch <laughs> also because we have the lot trait they all have like a happy thing about royal residences but also something interesting is when you with someone who isn't like royalty or around them they have like a sort of peasant why is jen outside you should come on in all over <laughs> um but there's like a peasant trait because like you new communications have been received oh how interesting we'll have a look at that in a minute i'm sort of waiting to see what our duty is for the day i think that should come in in like a few hours so if you're around just like a random person you get like a sort of buff about most of the people she knows are royalty though <laughs> so this doesn't really work where you get like a buff about like being around a peasant also there is like a monarch career with this mod but i don't use it just because like i play so much at home and stuff like this is her workplace to me so i don't want her going off for so many hours in the day and having to be on vacation all the time so i just have her like self-employed as the queen but this mod does come with like a monarchy career that like, your monarchs can have ah there we are okay this is it so your daily duties your grace another sun rises on your vast kingdom and there are several topics of concern that need your attention today will you proceed with your duties today or shall i dismiss them for another day so we want to do it but i like that there's the option to cancel them for the day so i guess we'll just wait to see what our duty is correspondences today okay so let's check daily duty so we have three to complete today so i just read that one and then oh, we have two so let's read the other one and then i think we reply to them yeah so we reply to that one so she's read it now also i just love how like the when you read the correspondence how real it looks so 
yeah so now we're using the book to reply to them which I just like it that like it gives your monarchs work to do because otherwise you're sort of just making it up so Eleanor is beloved by the people as well so like if you have get famous you don't need get famous for the royalty mod to work but it does help because they use a fame system to have you either beloved by the people or like despised and i think that's through like her reputation so she has like a really good reputation so because of that she's like beloved by the people and then i think it's also like a trait i want to say yeah it becomes like a reward trait from being a great monarch okay then we have to give it to lady in waiting so my lady in wait i have a few but I'm just going to use Missy just because she's like the one I know for sure is one. She's also our royal advisor. So I'll show you what that we can do with the royal advisor as well. So Missy. So as you can see, the advisor, we can lower or order a tax raise. I don't really know what that does because I don't actually do it. But I know it can like affect your reputation with everything. So this is what you can do with the ladies in waiting. So you go into the royalty mod ladies in waiting and you can remove her as one you can ask for coffee ask for tea command to follow which sounds quite fun and give correspondences to send so we'll do that i mainly have her late as a lady in waiting as well as being the royal advisor just because she literally is like her right hand woman and she is her best friend so it just made the most sense to me that she would be a lady in waiting like in my head she's like the head or like the most senior lady in waiting and like the royal advisor so we've done one of them so we need to do the other one and to be fair like it's nearly lunch time it's nearly 12 so this does actually take a, like a longer time which is good because it fills up your day because i always struggle to know what to do in the days if you guys know what i mean so we'll do the second one now i'm wondering if we can get the n royal nanny from well okay we can servant management mobility rabbit holes so that's stuff you can do for nobles which is cool <laughs> attend court visit tailor shaman gardens charity i like the charity ones so that's telling us that missy sent them out me call for a new nanny oh no oh no that's not uh, i don't want him to be our nanny he's um if you guys know my story you'll know but he's the son of Duncan Weller who was like the misogynistic prime minister who Eleanor hates and now her son is our royal nanny <laughs> right well I guess that'll have to do because we do need a nanny who else can we can't really hire a gardener for this palace because we don't have a pal like a garden in this palace but we can in other ones um cook's maid let's call for a new maid as well I do wonder who this is gonna be so he's our servant so let's order to oh we can make a uniform change i'm just gonna make them both change into a uniform and see we'll see if like the generated one is good um okay so let's grab missy sorry i'm like multitasking right now so let's grab missy look through here um give another one to send so we've still got one more to do okay so william's telling them to change because they're not really in appropriate clothes <laughs> so let's see what what it looks like maybe it's because i haven't set one that might be why um well order to servant also i do actually have servant rooms or staff rooms so these are the staff rooms um so they could all be down there i do actually what i need to do is i do actually have some staff i've made for my story okay so missy's gonna send the other one so i do have some stuff i've like already made for my story so they could like not in the save they're in like a different save i need to like move them over because i they're the ones i want because i actually made them to be staff and they've got uniforms already that i've sort of made for them anyway so whilst we wait actually <gasps> yeah that's it so guys i want to show you something really cool We'll do that with William instead because Eleanor's got to finish her other due correspondent. So I guess, I think we answered both the ones, but there's two we need to do. So, unless there's no others. Yeah, we'll send a correspondence to, we'll do it to the Emperor of Kangne. And then I'll have William, because I want to show you guys. So, I don't think it happens with all of them exactly, but 
as you can see with the royalty mod like there's now a thing where you can uh, where your sims can paint actual like royal portraits so this is i think this is queen victoria and her mum i want to say but it's so cool and like when i first saw it because i downloaded the royalty mod after a while and i saw it i was like Wait, what's going on but it's the coolest thing so like they paint actual classic stuff although i've noticed not all of them do end up becoming like the not all of them end up becoming like the let's up his painting skill i imagine he'd have a high skill anyway he's like royalty okay we'll make you can be like level you can be really good william like why not we'll do like a let's see yeah there we go so you guys can this doesn't come with the game it just comes with the royalty mod and it's the coolest thing ever because also if you don't have much custom content or much room for custom content paintings because i have a lot of custom content as you guys can see um and also like i recolor my own sims in my portraits but i also have like if i can find one that would help yeah i have like these are all custom content paintings but if you don't have much room for custom content okay we finished the last one so let's invite missy back around and as you can see it's basically taken like a full day of work so i think that's really good and it keeps your sims busy all day we'll invite missy back now so we can give her it so as i said you can like frame them and then like you've got proper nice paintings without having to like have a ton of custom content in your game which i think is really cool so we're nearly done but i just think this is such a cool like thing like when i first saw this i was like oh my god that's crazy so i do want to see what the one for tomorrow will be if it will be any different i know there's like different types of daily duties you can do so we'll just have to see also whilst i am waiting i just thought i'd just explain some things about like my royal save and stuff so this is a flag this is a recolor of the one that comes with i believe it's strangerville um so that's a recolor of that flag and it was a crest that was made for me by a friend and then another friend recolored it under a flag for me which was very kind of them so that's sort of what this flag is from um, I'm trying to think what else I can kind of show and point out. I mean, a lot of this custom content is... I have a lot of custom content in my palaces. I do build a lot of palaces. I did this one as a speed build and I have a tour for it. So um, you can see what most of it is from. But with like a, a few of my palaces, I do have CC lists for them. So if you wanted to know the type of CC I use, there are links to like the creators I use and some like download links to the CC I use. So if you wanted to sort of get a head start on like getting custom content for your royal family, then I would recommend it. The only thing I would say with like this amount of custom content or just like, you know, it's very all quite, is it hype? poly or poly count i'm quite not sure how you pronounce it but i have a gaming pc so it runs all of this quite well so i, I would just like give you guys a warning if you are going to download any of my palaces i have quite a lot on my gallery my gallery id is alice's sims bills this is the only one that's not on the gallery just because it is my main palace so i'm kind of keeping it to myself but i do have a lot on the gallery just like other ones that are still like really nice yeah but i would just like ask you to bear that in mind if you're gonna download one of my palaces because they are quite big and they are quite a lot as a, as i said i do have a gaming pc i don't have much lag at all the only real lag i get is not even with like the graphics or anything it's just like doing gameplay in a palace this big does take a lot but so i did just off camera give elena gave louisa a, uh, the crown royal title so i didn't know that you could give it to toddlers but you can i still had that same like glitch with that i had with oscar so i'm gonna have elena give frederick it so we will see that glitch again <laughs> but i didn't realize that you could give it to your toddlers so let's do that now and i think normally it's like inherited titles but because when i when i sort of like originally had all these sims i didn't have a royalty mod installed then so i think it sort of depends but now like if eleanor were to have more kids they'd be because I have the royalty mod installed now they would be born with the title so it's like an inherited title and it's the same with like if your monarch passes the 
yeah as you can see it's happening again but yeah so the heir would end up inheriting the throne automatically which i think is cool obviously i can't show that to you right now because ellen is the queen and i have i'm planning her to be the to be the queen a bit longer and leonor is a child but eventually when that does happen i'll be the first to show you guys also the royalty mod comes with a few events so i'll quickly show you guys but this has ended up becoming like a whole mod review but i'm not mad about it because i just love this mod so much and i really want to show it off because it's like like the best thing especially for like royalty players and creators and stuff it's great so we've got this one which i think i'll end up using that for my royal law series <laughs> um maybe we'll see we've got a debutant ball which sounds so much fun i'm gonna eventually have one of them when they're all teenagers we've got a royal banquet we have a royal coronation so that would happen when obviously Eleanor dies and then Leonor's the queen but as I said that's not gonna be for a while yeah I love Eleanor too much so they are all of the events that come with the mod and also with my real law series I just quickly want to say I've been doing a lot of work on the royal law series I don't know when it will be yet like for sure but I'm gonna have a whole video on like sort of ex I'm, I've got a big family tree to show you guys there's not I'm not gonna say much more about it just because I'm trying to keep it under wraps but that's sort of going to be like the intro video to the royal law series and it is going to change a bit so i'm going to be i'm still going to be using some of the sims that we made for the cast videos but not all of them because i have changed it all a bit but now it works better with my actual story line and yeah i'm just super excited for the royal law series now so that's sort of like short up on my list of priorities because i've been having so much fun doing it and again i can't show you guys anything just for spoilers say but I'm very excited and hopefully it won't be too much longer until I end up making that first video. Another thing to say with the royalty mod, I'm slowly thinking of things I can talk about um, in this video, is so obviously Ellen is a queen, William's a prince consort, so we have like a book of titles, let me grab it. So for like all your different sims, because I've got quite a big royal family now, I didn't used to, it used to be tiny, but I've got quite a big royal family now, so this is the book of bestowing titles so this is sort of what you can use for all that i'll put it in the queen's office just because you know she's got the power to do this uh, we'll pop it like here in eleanor's office so you can click on it so it says change titles so monarch titles so there's so many different options which is so cool so eleanor is a queen so i'm gonna do the queen title i think also if you're changing these they do take a while to like reset or like change in game so don't keep doing it because eventually it will like set itself because originally i thought i was like oh it's not working but it does it just takes a little while to register like above your sims head so what will eventually happen is we'll get like a little queen icon then crown royal for like sort of all of the okay we've got new communications now that's fun so if i was to click on william so he is the prince consort so i'm wondering I've got queen consort yeah so i think for william William will have to do the prince one here also there are some like gender neutral ones as well which I love and then you can do a custom title as well which is cool and then you've got noble titles so I do have a lot of nobles now I didn't used to again but I've been slowly adding more to my save <laughs> so eventually we need to set these all up in game so we've got duke so we've got duke grand duke i don't have any grand dukes i don't have any knights at the moment i don't have any dames i have duchesses dukes i have ladies earls lord i don't have a victim i have like or Viscount, I don't know. I have a Viscount, Viscountess, I've got Countess, Earl, I've got Baron, Baroness, Duchess, Duke. I do want to include like Archduke. I, I do want to include some more eventually. But yeah, this is a real cool feature as well. And then you've also got it for like different countries as well and different like religions and you know places in the world. So you've got like Maharaja, you've got Kaiser, you've got Emperor, Empress. I do have an Emperor and an Empress so that helps. So Sultan, Sovereign. I think Sovereign is like the more gender neutral one and so is Monarch which is good. We've got Tsar, Pharaoh, Tsarina. Anyway, so that's really cool. Okay, we should get the thing now uh, for Eleanor's duties. Has it showed up here? I'm curious to know. Yeah, so it showed... Oh, hang on. Uh, so let's do it again. So it's showed up as Queen now and then he's now Prince. So that's like really cool and it's sort of like... I don't know. It's, it's like a little detail but I think it adds so much to like storytelling. So... 
we'll have to see what daily duty we get oh you must check the kingdom's finances today you can do this through the correspondences book that can be bought from Bible. okay so it tells you what to do which is good if it's different you can check duties by checking daily duty so let's go into viewing finances i think there's somewhere like people come to visit as well from other or like people come to visit so i really want to get that one and like hold an audience i think that would be really fun so it's nice that some of them like take less time just in case like you want to do them but you've got more to do in the day than other times so we've done it oh we didn't get the one about the correspondence though we didn't we weren't told that we completed that one so i don't oh well it's fine so we've completed it now so would it generate i don't think it'll generate another one no it doesn't generate another one okay so we did that quite quickly so i'm at oh, this might be a mistake i hate doing this but i'm just gonna do it just so we can like get another one now so oh gosh i'm really bad at working out the times six hours six yeah six a.m now so my game's gonna go nuts now so just do do bear with it as you can see we're getting a lot of her brother is telling her to become an actor <laughs> so we're gonna get a lot of phone calls now from like everyone so just do bear with it it's gonna go a bit crazy yeah we're getting another one no nope. and then all their needs are going mm, crazy phil needs world but yeah it's already gone down it's so weird i don't really like doing this so much oh my gosh um oh hang on let me hire an actual like made from the actual game if i can find it i mean they've got their work cut out cleaning this palace but okay the only thing is i they lose the celebrity level so quickly like i don't like them having the celebrity level but it makes sense but it always means you've got paparazzi everywhere we go which it makes sense for royalty but sometimes they just hang out outside my palace and then i'm like mm, like is that oh it's helena oh guys it's helena helena is the queen's sister oh she says it says she's a neighbor i mean she lives in brindleton bay but that's fine i sort of have palaces in like pretty much every yeah i have like palaces all over sort of so they all have different ones uh but helena her sister lives in my one on brindleton bay so we should get the thing about the daily duty again hopefully in a minute what's the gift oh my god that's so sweet what gift did you give us a postcard from twin twin twinbrook that sims free is it not wait do we have a new sentiment jamtastic gift Twinbrook was a Sims 3 I only know this because I love the Sims 3. Okay, well, the Queen's sister is now here. Okay, William's saying hi to her. So, that's fun. She can be here for today. So, hopefully, we'll be told about the daily duties in a minute. I don't know because I skipped time, it's not going to register, with, which would be a bit annoying, but... Deep conversation with your sister. You can just talk to your sister whilst we wait for the daily duty. Was it 8am or 9am when we got the thing about the daily duty? No, I don't remember one of them hopefully we'll get it in a minute if not i've skipped a day for no reason <laughs> i've got to wait even longer um let's see i want to just host someone oh there we go <gasps> oh we've got a philanthropic event today you can do this by choosing the charity rabbit holes available under the royalty mob pie menu when clicking on your sims <gasps> that's so cool oh my gosh so it would be royalty mod charity so can we do anyone oh we can choose our own attend blankets for the unhoused event we'll do a fundraising gala right so as soon as you click on it for this it does it so we're going to a gala so i'm just gonna put eleanor in her dress oh i i haven't attended it though we haven't attended yet i'm gonna go to my gala are we going eleanor can we go oh it's not letting us go well. okay i'm gonna skip time again <laughs> Just so we can see another one okay so i've just skipped the game again so we're probably gonna yeah it's probably gonna go crazy again how can you lose a celebrity level in one day though that's crazy okay proceed okay so i'll have to see what we get today i'm super excited <laughs> this is just so cool journal entry today okay that one i'm gonna end up doing that so quickly I'm gonna end up using like all the days in the season of autumn. I don't like all this school pop-ups. Like I get they're cool. So we've done it. Lovely. Okay, so when you complete it, you get like the achievement thing. Do I wanna skip time again? I think I do. <laughs> oh, 
Yes, they'll be sent to our throne room. A group of citizens have arrived. They seek your guidance. They'll be sent to the throne room. <gasps> right, Elena, go sit on your throne. Oh, okay, that is a royal throne. Good, and I've already assigned that. So I guess they follow. So yeah, you really do need to put all of these down because that's where they're all going. Elena, Elena you need to go. This is like, this is a really fun one. Go, go to the throne room, go sit down. You need to give some advice. <gasps> okay. Oh, okay. Some of these are nobility, though. Okay. Some of them are randomised, so that's interesting. Okay, so I guess we just got to wait for them to come on in. So Eleanor's sitting on... She's not sitting on her throne. I want her to. Let's give her... <sighs> Do we give her a dress for this? I think she needs to look quite regal. Yeah, wear, wear this nice outfit. Is that the concerned citizens? No, you need to sit down, Eleanor. Hopefully they'll come up. I think they're meant to. Unless I need to invite them in. Ah, there we go, royal greeting. Ah, receive in throne room. <gasps> oh my God, this is so cool. So one of these is actually like a noble. Um, right, receive in throne room. And then receive in throne room. Oh, okay, I think they're coming up. Oh, I don't think it's an actual interaction. I think it just sends them up automatically. Okay, she's on her way. Oh, we've got another one. Oh, we've got quite a few coming up and they're all wearing big dresses. Okay, she's coming up. Okay, I think we've got to do them more individually. I don't think we can do them one by one. So we'll wait for her to come up. Oh, this is so cool. This is my favorite one, guys. Okay, she's on her way up to the throne room. To be fair though, she is actually a noble, so. I had a banquet a while ago. Just ask her about the grievances. <laughs> we wish to hold a cultural festival to celebrate our traditions. Could the crown... Of course we will. We would be honoured to. Okay, so I think we've done the first one. I think that's our maid. Oh, she's coming to clean up. Thank you. We need that. So I assume that one's done with... I need to find all, find all the other people now. Okay, you need to come on up now. Okay, so we've done one. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I think my palace being massive doesn't really help, so it's fine. Also, I'm tempted to switch this to William's office. William's got a really oddly shaped office. So this is the Prince Consort's office and it's like in a triangle, so I think I might switch it to the one upstairs. <laughs> okay, we've got another one. We've got a lot of people here. That's really cool though, like you you have a lot of people to work through. Your Majesty, my partner and I have wished for a child for many years now, but you have not been granted one. Perhaps your breath. Blessing to give. Uh, yeah, fine. What does that mean? <laughs> a blessing from the monarch is nice and all, but nothing will come with this, right? Okay, hopefully that's fine. Okay, let's listen to the other guys. Should be some other people here as well to do it. My gracious leader, I am the most talented sculptor in all the, the land of the- Oh, <gasps> yes! Yes, of course! Oh, <gasps> remember me! Will I actually be sent one? Because I really want that. Oh, a gentle wave of contentment is beginning to spread across the empire. The people are starting to feel hopeful. Oh my god, I love- This is so cool, guys. Oh my god. Okay, you need to stop. Okay, let's go find that other lady. Now, she is wearing Eleanor's wedding dress. <laughs> She's been randomly assigned the Queen's wedding dress. I bet Eleanor's like, um... Oh, it's the same one again. Fine. Okay, do we have any others? I'm wondering if there are any other people here. I remember seeing at least one other person, but I don't I don't know for sure. Will okay, William's just sat with one of them. In the office, we have our toddlers around might be everyone unless they're like hiding downstairs well, I, well it won't the daily duty won't be complete until we've done them all so i guess we'll know i don't know if this one's completing itself but it's still really fun to do i hope i do get a set in that statue i, I really want one of eleanor actually <laughs> okay you are sat at the queen's desk though i will just say that now so you, you can stop talking to her i guess that's everything because I think they're all, it's all disappeared now. So I think we've done it. It just hasn't. But that's my favourite one. <laughs> Definitely my favourite one.
so what i'm gonna do then is i'm gonna end this video here thank you guys so much for watching so it's been a bit all over the place i think i just sort of as we were going i realized oh wait this is a cool aspect of the royalty mod to show you and then it just sort of has ended up being a really long video but i really enjoyed it i really would recommend the royalty mod and definitely using the daily duties function because it is really good and as you saw with that like concerned citizens coming over like it's so cool and i because you have the option to answer like yes or no to their questions that like can help shape like what happens like with your kingdom and everything and like how you're loved as a ruler and i think i don't i don't want to say it can end in war but there is a whole military aspect that came from the ancient greece mod update sorry and now it's in the regular royalty mod so my guess is that stuff like that can now happen in the royalty mod i don't want to say for sure because i might be making this up but there it seems like there's like a lot more like consequence now as well which is just amazing because i find the game so easy normally and adding like not only royalty but like consequence to like the decisions you make as the monarch is just really really cool so yeah thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and leave any comments you might have on the video and on the royalty mod and just on the daily duties aspect of the royalty mod but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll link everything i can related to the royalty mod in the description of this video i'll also link my ancient greece mod overview into the description as well so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all again in the next video bye